fun. I am so sorry that it has been a while again since my last video. I feel like I've been apologizing a lot lately, but I appreciate your patience with me because as you know, in the recent months I moved across the country and I've also, you know, started new jobs and just lots of things have been going on. So like I said, I do appreciate your patience with me getting up new videos. I know sometimes I'll say, hey, I'm gonna film, and then you wait two weeks and don't see anything. But that is not intentional, and I'm glad that I'm getting to sit down and film today. And the video I am filming today has actually been requested a lot, which is just kind of a mix of makeup for moms, makeup for students, or makeup for those of us who work and are rushing out the door in the morning and often don't have more than five minutes or so to get ready. So I'm gonna show you how I created this look I have on right now, which is so simple, so affordable, easy to throw on, and seriously, five minutes, even under five minutes, depending on the steps you choose to take. And it will just really help wake you up, enhance your natural beauty, and make you feel more confident throughout the day. So let's jump right into it and I will show you how to create this easy look. Okay, so let's say it's the morning, the afternoon, whatever, you have five minutes to get ready, not much time at all. For your face, I would definitely suggest using something like a CC cream, BB cream, tinted moisturizer. The reason for that is not only will it help moisturize your skin and provide benefits, most of them have SPF, which is really important to have on your skin during the day. So I've been loving lately this Super Goop CC cream. It's a really nice product. Um, it's also a self-adjusting color. So as you rub it into your skin, and I just use my hands, the shade may not look perfect at first, but as long as you're close, it does adjust to your um, skin tone, which is nice because you don't have to worry about it matching perfectly. Like when you get a foundation and that can sometimes be a really big pain to get matched perfectly. So I just work it in with my hands and just rub it down my neck a little bit. And sometimes I'll even pull it up onto my ears, especially if I'm wearing my hair back, because I want that SPF protection on my ears as well. We don't want burnt ears, especially if you're a mom and you're out at the park with your kids, that would be no good. So just work it in with your hands until you have nice and even coverage. Next, I would use concealer, and regardless of your situation, again, whether you're a mom with kids, on your way out to work or school, you are probably overtired. I know I always am. So I like to use my Laura Mercier uh, Secret Camouflage Concealer, and I love this product for covering up dark circles under my eyes. So just take a little bit to start on your ring finger and just pat it in under your eye where there's that blueness which makes us look tired. You can use a brush, a beauty blender, um, it's really up to you, but I know when you're going to run out the door and in a rush, sometimes it's easier to use our hands to apply products because it can take less time. Once you have your concealer on under your eyes, covering up your dark circles, I would definitely take the extra few seconds to set it with a setting powder because you don't want it to crease throughout the day. We all have long days and we often don't have time to reapply our makeup and touch up and this will help it last without creasing through the entire day. So I like to take the Makeup Forever HD powder, but you can really use whatever powder you like. You could even grab the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which is super affordable at the drugstore, and just pat a little bit of that underneath your eyes. And that will just help set the makeup. And the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder would also be a really great product to use if you're someone who does have an oilier skin and you're worried about your oiliness coming through, whether it be your tinted moisturizer or CC cream throughout the day. So that's a product I would definitely recommend if you're looking for something that's affordable. Now, in my opinion, brows are super important on kind of pulling a look together. They really help define our face and our features. So this is really gonna depend on how your brows are naturally. If you are someone like me who has kind of a more thick defined brow, you're not gonna necessarily have to do anything to your brows. But if your brows tend to be more sparse and need some filling in, just taking 30 seconds to a minute to tidy them up can really make all the difference. So I'll say this step is gonna be optional depending on you, but I will show you what I would do in the morning if I wanted to just groom my brows really quickly. So I would take my Anastasia Brow Wiz and use the spoolie end to just kind of brush through my brows and tame them. And then I take the side with the product and I lightly 
blend it through the front of my brow just to define it a tiny bit more where I can get some sparseness and then through the top and the arch and like I said just defining your brows in the slightest bit can really pull together your entire look to finish off your face this part is really gonna be one of those things that is up to you and how much time you have and what you're comfortable wearing I would suggest either putting just the tiniest little sweep of blush on a natural color would be great or what I like to do is take a big fluffy brush and swirl it in some bronzer that's not too crazy I like the NYC bronzer and sunny which I've talked about a lot before and I like to just sweep it onto my cheekbones the hollow of my cheek area up by my temples and just bring a little kind of extra color to my face and what I like about this is you don't have to be super careful in your application because this bronzer doesn't apply too heavily and I just think it helps, I don't know, just wake us up a little bit. And a good trick with bronzer, if you don't already know it, is it's good to apply where the sun would naturally hit you. So the top of your forehead, down the center of your nose, and on the tops of your cheeks. Moving on to eyes, a really quick thing that I like to do with my eyes is use my favorite Maybelline color tattoos. Now I know that these are something that a lot of people really love to use for kind of a quick eye look because they are such a great product and they look really pretty on their own. So the color that I'm going to use today is Inked in Pink, which is available at pretty much any drugstore, Target, etc. And I am just going to apply this with my finger all over my eyelid. and just blend it up towards the crease of my eye. You don't have to be very careful with this at all. And just kind of work it. You can even work it up all the way to your brow as you blend it out. And again, this is such an easy product to use. Um, you'd have to try really hard to mess this up and make a mistake because all you're really doing is just working this all over your eyelid to add a little shimmer, a little hint of that pink color so your look isn't super flat. And the other great thing about these is that they last super well. If you have really oily eyelids, you could choose to put a primer on underneath like the Urban Decay Primer Potion or the e.l.f. primer that is sold at Target. But um, I find for the most part, I'm okay. It really just depends how hot the day is, etc. But these tend to last fairly well on their own. Now again, depending on your time and whether you're in a really big time crunch or maybe you find yourself with a few extra minutes, something that I sometimes like to do is take a pencil brush. Um, you could even really use a Q-tip for this. And based on that pink color I'm using today, I am gonna take a very kind of light taupey brown. And on the brush, I am just going to run this across my lash line where I would normally put eyeliner just to kind of darken that up and make my lashes appear thicker. And this will also help define your eyes. And since I'm using such a light color, I don't need to worry about being too precise, too accurate. Again, I'm in a rush. So normally I would just kind of be quickly sweeping this along my lash line. And with this brush, blending it out, again, with your Q-tip or finger, you can go ahead and smudge it out if you think you've applied a little bit too much. And it's just a little extra step you can add if you find yourself with a few spare minutes. Another thing I wanna suggest, because we're talking about waking up late, having no time, being tired, is using a nude colored liner on your waterline. Because if you're tired, didn't get a lot of sleep, our eyes can tend to look red. And this will help neutralize that and make us look less tired, more awake. I absolutely love the Rimmel Scandalized Col Cajal in Nude. Um, wears really well, it's waterproof, it's just an excellent eyeliner. Again, super affordable. So you can just quickly run this along your lower waterline just a very quick sweep and it will take away the redness bloodshot eyes and help you look more awake again this can be an optional step but i think it works really well on helping us 
combat that tired. Final step for the eyes is going to be mascara. Now you can use a regular mascara or a waterproof just kind of depending on what you know you have going on for the day or what you prefer. I typically don't wear waterproof mascara just because it's harder to get off at the end of the day but some people live by it. Totally up to you. And just quickly apply a coat of mascara to our top and bottom lashes. And honestly, if you find yourself with literally like two minutes before you run out the door, just applying a coat of mascara really helps open up your eyes and make you look more awake. So if I had to say one step in the morning, seriously, major time crunch, it would be mascara. Last but not least is gonna be lips. Again, you could just throw on a lip balm if you're in a rush or not really worried about lips, but if you want to give a little extra something to the look, I would highly, highly suggest the Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stains. You've heard me talk about these time and time again. My favorite is still the color Honey. Super gorgeous, everyday color, wear it all the time. But for today, I am going to use a NYX Butter Gloss. Again, super affordable product that you can get at Ulta. And I'm using the color Creme Brulee, which is a very nice neutral color, and it's just gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of color as well as shine to my lips. It also smells really yummy, which is nice. And then you can just throw this in your bag or whatever product you use and reapply it throughout the day. And there you have it, a really quick, simple look to really just brighten up your face, wake yourself up, no matter what you have going on throughout the day, whether you're going to the park with your precious child, going to school, or like me, rushing out the door to get to work in the morning and you don't wanna look like crap. So I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you find this simple. If I wasn't blabbing through it, I probably could have done this within five minutes and I'm very confident that all of you guys can do it in five minutes or less as well, just depending on the steps you pick and choose to do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and as always, please subscribe. I love when you do and I will see you all soon with a new video. Bye.